so we're going to start um, <clears throat> doing the step by step uh, for the dungarees. So first of all, we're going to make the leg cuffs. So I've got my piece of poplin here. And all I'm being asked to do is, with the right sides together, put the short ends together and then sew oops, a one centimetre seam down the side here. So we'll go forward a bit. Oops, we'll go forward a bit and we'll go backwards a bit. We'll come to the end and just before the end we'll do a few little back stitches just like that. So we're going to do that again on the second piece. So we're going to fold it in half, matching the short edges. We're going to pop that under the machine. We're going to go forward a few stitches and then back a few stitches, all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to do that again. Right, so we're going to, what I want you to do is I'd like you to press that seam open, like that. Ooh, something's just dropped out of the tree above me. And we're going to pop those aside for later. So now we're going to join the legs at the front. So, move the machine back a bit. Here's our four pieces of legs. Two are for the front, two are for the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pop them front side to front side. And we're going to sew this seam here. So we're going to bring the machine in. We're going to make sure they're nicely lined up. Da, 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 da. I'm going to pop those in there. Forward a few, back a few, all the way to the top and a few back stitches. So we're going to do that twice and then we should have something that resembles a pair of trousers. I'm going to pop those to the side as well. So we're doing this very methodically in the step-by-step -step way. You need to do the same on the second pair of trousers. And now we're going to make the straps. <laughs> 